All right, so we are almost done implementing this uh, save on blur. Let's hop over to Aptana, or actually go to GitHub here. And we'll go back to the root of it all and click on Ajax, open up blur-save.php, and uh, go over to Aptana, right click on the Ajax folder, new file. Save dash blur dot php and hop over to GitHub and we're gonna grab all this copy and go ahead and paste. Save that, and uh, we do need to change something here. We need to add another set of dot dots because our connection is stored on the uh, front end or the uh, public side. And let's take a look at all this. Um, this should just be plug and play. So let's go ahead and save this. Hop over to the browser. Go ahead and open the settings page again. Um, now you see the CSS has happened. Um, uh, we'll have to look at that because I think I had some uh, kind of overall styling that uh, is affecting this. But if we click on this, um, we can now edit it. But uh, let's go ahead and actually do this in Firefox. I like their Firebug tool much better than Chrome's. Alright, so I'm opening up the admin here in Firefox. Let's click on settings. And uh, now let's go ahead and open up Firebug. And we'll make sure that JavaScript is turned on. Yes, it is. And let's go ahead and reload the page. Now we're getting errors again, and this is, uh, I forgot to address this earlier. Um, this is because of tiny MCE not being um, loaded up here. So I'll have to change that uh, hopefully in the uh, next set of videos. But let's go ahead and click on this here. Let's change it to two and click elsewhere. Okay, so you can see that our um, uh, our Ajax is run here, our git method. Now the response, however, is not what we want. And I think I know why. Because we named this differently. Let's take a look at Aptana. Yeah, it's supposed to be blur-save. Why? I don't know why. But let's go ahead and close that and rename it really quick. So right click rename blur dash save and say okay and let's go ahead and try this again we'll change this back to one and I minimize this here uh, looks like this happened a couple of times um, let's go ahead and open the last one here okay so this is making a little more progress but uh, we're getting an error, and let's see, click on HTML, we can read this a little bit better. Unknown column site in the where clause. Aha, uh -huh. I know why. Um, because we usually use numbers for the ID, uh, we've never needed to uh, encapsulate this in quotes. But since we're sending a string, that's important. So hop over to Aptana, and uh, Let's open that uh, blur dash save again. And here where it says select all from ID here, we need to put this in single quotes. And we also need to do that down here with the update query. So we'll go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and reload the page so we can get a clean slate here. Or semi-clean anyway. And we'll change this to two. Click off of it. In here and look we got a status of one and that means that the query was successful so let's hop back over to phpMyAdmin just 
just to make sure. So we'll go to settings and we come over here and the value has changed to two. And let's just make sure of this and we'll reload the page again. Sure enough, it's still two. Let's change it back to one. Check down here, status one. Go to our database and reload. And the value's back to one. Pretty cool. So just to see what the uh, other status is, if we reload the page, and again, I'm just reloading the page to clear our slate a little bit. Um, we don't actually have to, we can continue to edit this. But uh, let's go ahead and put in the number one again, click off of it, and we should get a status of three. Yes, so three. So the main reason for doing this, like I said, this is uh, so that we can do something with that information if we want to. We can pop up a notice that says, you know, maybe in the corner here or something or next to the field that says saved, you know, something like that.